Hey guys, Lisa here from CoochieCoochieCoo.com. So, you may or may not know that besides sewing, I also enjoy gardening a bit. And seeing as it's summer, I now have a whole bunch of spicy red peppers, which I've just harvested from my balcony garden. Now, as you can see, this is probably way too much for me to use when they're fresh, so I have to save them. How can we do this? It's really, really easy, and actually, you can use sewing to do it. So, what you need to do, Harvest your red peppers, then grab just any kind of thread. I'm just using this really cheapy, super old cotton thread, which I ha happen to have. It's not good enough for sewing, so I'll use it for this. Also, a sewing needle, just any old sewing needle. I'm using this really old one, which I needed to throw away anyway, so this way I can just throw it away afterwards. Then you also probably will need something like a needle threader, if you happen to need that sort of thing. And also, I highly suggest using some sort of latex gloves to protect your fingers because you don't want to get those spicy oils on your fingers because that will really be annoying if you get it all over yourself. All right, let's get started. All right, first things first, you want to thread your needle with your cheap thread. If you want, you can use a better quality thread too, but there's no point. I'm just using this cruddy one that I happen to already have. Now, I've threaded it on. If you want, you can use your needle threader to help you. Um, I, it's not even necessary to cut off a piece of the thread um, because we don't know how much exactly we're gonna need. So just leave it on. We can just lengthen it as we go along. Now, spicy peppers, they have spicy oils. If you pierce them, you're going to get these oils on your skin and then you can you risk getting those oils into your eyes. You don't want that for sure. So before you even start, let's put on your gloves, okay? I'm just using these disposable latex gloves and even though they're disposable, I never use these things just once. I just rinse them off and I keep using them for other things that I can possibly need them for. Okay, now I'm ready to go. So let's bring over all of our spicy peppers. Let's get our needle, which is all ready. And let's get started. So take your first pepper, let's move these out of the way. Let's take your first pepper and your needle. What are you going to do? You're just going to push your needle right through the green part. See that here? It's going right through it. Doesn't have to be perfect. The important thing is it goes through. And push it down. Next pepper, push it right through that green head part. There we go. And push it down. And you're going to go like that for all of your peppers. If you want, you can put more than one through at once. So you can stick one, two, three at once, and then just push them all through down. And you can see here I have some already. Just keep pushing them down little by little. I can't see well in my camera. You can see here they're all strung up. Just keep pushing them down. Push them down, down, down. And just keep going like that until you've gone all the way through. Okay, I'm finishing up now. I'm on my last two peppers. Um, as I was doing this, I thought of a couple of things that I wanted to mention. So first of all, sometimes it can happen that you break a pepper, um, like it just snaps. So don't worry about it. Here, you can see it snaps. This is one pepper here. Um, the, the main part of the fruit kind of ripped off thread through the main fruit too, it doesn't really matter. Um, you can still use it. Also, another thing that really helps um, to keep from having your thread get all tangled up is if you double over your thread, um, leave a nice long tail and just pull through and little by little you can shorten the tail. Um, if you are having trouble pushing all the, um, all the spicy peppers all the way down, what you can do is you can just cut, you can, cut off a nice long tail on the other end of the thread and just thread them from the other side too. I have finished, so I'm going to remove my needle. I no longer need my needle. Okay, there we go. Now, if you wanna keep using your needle, I suggest you take some rubbing alcohol and clean it off really well. Um, oh, also, by the way, I took off my gloves because I was having a hard time working. So cut off a tail of your thread here. You can now finally cut it off. Okay, and now that you have this nice strung up line of hot peppers, you have two ends of thread, just 
knot the two thread ends together. Okay, I have kind of long tails. I'm gonna trim those off because they're a little bit excessive. Okay. Now, just tie a knot. I'm just gonna tie a regular double knot. It doesn't need to be a sewing knot or anything. It just needs to hold it together. There we go. Okay, so I got a nice knot here and we're ready to hang up your strung up peppers so that they can dry. All right, all you need to do now is hang up your strung red peppers. I just hung mine from a light that I have in my kitchen, but you can hang them up wherever you want, from a nail on the wall, whatever. Just put them in a place where they're not going to bother you too much. And it'll take about two or three months for them to dry out, or maybe a little bit more, a little bit less. You can see when they get dry. So it's going to take a few months at least for your peppers to get nice and dried up. When they get dried, they'll look something like this. These ones are super, super dried. I've actually had them for hanging up for a couple of years um, because I just didn't need them. I had so many of them. Now, how can you use these peppers? Well, you can just break them off. You can see once you um, once they're dry, they just come off really easy from the little cap there that used to be green. And they're really dry. So you can do different things. First of all, you could just like break it in half like this. You can see some seeds come out and just put it in your cooking like this. Or you can take a bunch of them and just break them up a little bit and put them in a food processor and you can grind them up and get some nice red pepper flakes. Or what you can do is my favorite thing is make what we here in Southern Italy call olio santo, which would be um, holy oil, basically. Um, it's a little difficult to see here, but basically this is all full of dried red pepper and I put um, extra virgin olive oil on it and I left it for a couple of months, two or three months more or less. This is very typical in Southern Italy. I live near Naples. And what you do is you just take a spoon or something like that and just take a little bit of it and drizzle it on your um, on your food direct, directly in your plate and it's really good it gets really really strong so you really just need like a couple of drops depending on your resistance to spicy pepper you get it gets a really beautiful red glow reddish orange glow all you need to do is take your red peppers your dried red peppers break them up just a little bit like that it, they don't have to be particularly small just break them a little bit and dump them in a jar a whole bunch of them and just put some oil on them. There's no particular specific recipe or quantities about that. And after a while, you'll get this really nice color here and you can use it on all of your food. So that's that, my sewing trick to keep your spicy red peppers good for a long time and be able to use them all year round in your cooking. How would you like to use these peppers? Let me know in the comments and I'll see you soon on coochicoochicoo.com.